Warriors, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today we are gonna be learning the loop jump. Now I know this is a little bit more of a challenging jump, so if you're not there in your skating skills yet, no worries, you can watch, you can learn for the future. And I have lots of other more beginner jumps on this channel that you can try. But if you're ready for that loop jump, we can do this. I recommend you already know how to do your waltz jump, your salcow and your toe loop before learning the loop jump so that it, it is a little bit more advanced. So I have tutorials for that waltz jump, toe loop and salcow, so I'll go ahead and put those in the description below. For this jump, you're gonna wanna have a good strong backspin and it's often helpful to have a good strong inside three turn. So go ahead and learn those. But if you know them, let's get started. We're actually gonna start over on the wall with a little exercise, so let's head there first. So as I said, you're gonna want that backspin for this jump because the air position is a backspin, all right? You're kind of jumping and going into a backspin air position. We're gonna practice the takeoff on the wall. Now, I don't want you to get in the habit of using the wall and really leaning on it. It's not really proper form, but it's gonna help you get the feeling of this jump. So we're gonna start with a right inside three turn. Now, I'm right-handed, I like to rotate counterclockwise, but if you're left-handed or you just like rotating the other way clockwise, go ahead and reverse these directions, okay? But we're gonna start with a right inside three turn. So I'm gonna start with my left hand on the wall. I'm gonna do that inside three turn because this is gonna simulate the entry to that jump. And that puts me on my right back outside edge. In that three turn, I'm gonna close my leg. So instead of three turning and checking my leg out like normal, I'm gonna close it. So I'm gonna end in what we call a closed position. Three turn, close. All right, so my hips are closed. My leg is slightly crossed in front, okay? Uh, I got my right hand on the wall and I'm kind of on my right outside edge. I'm gonna bend my knee, push up through my toe pick, and then I'm gonna jump to my check position, all right? Pushing through your toe pick is incredibly important, so I want you to get used to that. So go inside three turn, push up through that toe pick, and land on your jumping leg on your outside edge. So this jump takes off and lands on the same edge. Okay, on the same leg, on the same edge. Inside three turn, outside edge, outside edge. All right, so practice this here on the wall until it feels comfortable. Try to keep your body up straight. Try not to lean into the wall too much and really think about using your knees rather than your hips to get that jump. Once you've practiced that loop jump on the wall, we're ready to try it out here on the ice. Now we're gonna start the same way with a right inside three turn, but we don't have that wall to help us. So when we get done with our turn, instead of using that wall, I want you to check your arms really strong. So that left hand in front and the right hand in back. Now your arms are in the jump are gonna be the same as in your backspin. They're gonna close to the right side. Okay, so we're going here in that jump out and closing on the right side, okay? So we're gonna do that right inside three turn, jump. Okay, now practice that nice and slow and then we'll do it from some crossovers. Now when you're doing this jump, there's a few key things that I see people making mistakes and I want you to avoid those, okay? So the first thing is people stick their hips out from that three turn and then those hips drive into the jump and it throws your upper body around and makes the spin really wild in the air. So think about using your quads and your knees instead of using your hips to jump, okay? So we don't want this action in our hips. We want the jump to happen through our knees, okay? So that's very important, that's number one. The other thing I see is people jumping with their left side, okay? So they get into this loop and their left side drives in and that's again gonna cause a really wild out of control jump. So I want you to think about that right side, the toe, the knee, the hip, the arm, folding in, the right side driving the rotation on this loop, okay? The right side creates the rotation. Inside three turn, right side 
gives you your rotation. All right, and you just want to have a nice strong check out. Once you feel confident at it from a three turn, you want to do it the more advanced way from back crossovers. So for this, we're going to do, I'm going to do, since I'm right handed, doing left over right back crossovers. So my body is going to face the circle. Once I feel like I have enough momentum, I want you to put your weight over here on your right side, in your knee, not in your hip, but in your knee. My body is going to be really facing the circle and the left side is just resting on the ice, okay? See how my body doesn't need to move. So we get some momentum. You're going to bend down in your knee, push up through that toe, and then rotate the right side in, okay? That right side rotation is super important. So as you take off, you're gliding, you're going to go down in your knee and your legs slightly cross. When you're ready to jump, you're going to push up all the way through that toe, really strong on that right side, and turn the right side in to the left. Get your momentum. Put your weight on the right. Keep those hips under. Push through the toe. And rotate that right side in. Skaters, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. As always, I'd love to see some of your videos. So if you're practicing this, tag me on Instagram, Skating Coach Julia, so I can see your progress. If you enjoyed this, then please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.